Hi, I'm Robin. Today I'd like to tell you about one of my favorite things. They're called artist trading cards. Artist trading cards are an amazing way to connect with other artists, to share your own art, and to create art of any kind. I have a couple here that I've created. Usually there's art on the front and a little bit of information on the back. Let's get started. Artist Trading Cards, also known as ATCs, is a conceptual art project invented in 1997 by a Swiss artist named M. Vinci Sternemann. He called it a collaborative cultural performance. Artist Trading Cards are two and a half by three and a half inches, the same format as modern trading cards. They're self-made unique works or small series that are signed and dated on the reverse by the artist, then exchanged and collected by the people who participate in the collaborative project. An important influence for the ATC concept were art movements of the 20th century, which advocated art not for museums or auctions, but from and within everyday life. As long as it fits in a trading card sleeve, your art can be made out of anything. Generally, an ATC should never be sold, only traded or given away. Watercolor, acrylics, pen and ink, pencils, marker pens, even charcoal can be used to create an ATC. Fabric, such as mini quilts, patchwork, embroidery, cross stitch, collage and mixed media are also options. Other kinds of ideas include rubber stamping, embossing, decoupage, paper weaving, and paper folding. It doesn't matter what medium you work with, any artist can be an ATC artist. When you make ATCs, the possibilities are endless. Your work can be based on a theme, or your favorite things. Your cards can carry a message or they can be just designs or your favorite art medium. Why would you want to make artist trading cards? Well, it's a great way to share your art with other artists and collect and be inspired by them. Because they're such a small scale, they're easy to make and require little supplies. Plus, they're really, really fun. If you need a creative outlet, Artist Trading Cards is the way to go because the possibilities are unlimited. Now I'd like to show you how I created my art. I like collage, so I started with that. Remember that the base of your ATC should be two and a half by three and a half inches. You can also use a playing card. Like I mentioned before, I love collage. I especially like my hand-painted papers. So I've collected a nice pile of those. In addition, I have assorted glues and scissors. But if you love to paint or you enjoy stamping or drawing or coloring, you can get those things too. After I chose some paper, I tore some shapes and a landscape was inspired to me. And on back, I wrote its title, how I made it, and my name and contact. For my second piece, again, I used collage, but I decided to use some stamping tools to add some texture to it. Uh, here I've used more paper and added some sparkly things. And the finished piece looks like this. And here's the back of it. Now that I'm finished with my own trading cards, I can look for an artist to exchange my work with, um, or I can just keep my own collection, which I really enjoy. Uh, if you would like to learn more about artist trading cards, try Googling ATCs, or artist trading cards, and there is just a wealth of information out there for you to, to learn more about. I hope you enjoy this.